All right, well, what's the buzz today is all about the Oscars. Oscars. All about it, the big yes. winners of the night, and everything, everywhere, all at once, which won the best picture. Michelle Yeoh also became the first Asian woman to win in the best actress category uh, for that movie, and Ki Hee Kwan won for best supporting actor for good the job, movie. Good job, Thank good you. job. Thank you. Good job. Can I get, <laughs> Come on. Give me some. All right. Give me some of that. And there was some controversy around Jamie Lee Curtis, who won for best supporting actress from the movie. Many feel Angela Bassett should have won for Wakanda Forever and was Hello. robbed. I agree with that. Come on. Brendan Fraser also won in the best actor category. So. That's a look at who, who took home the hardware, mm -hmm. but who won on the red carpet the red is the carpet. big question. Right. Joining us for this discussion, <laughs> our local forest style editor, John Jordan, and the managing editor and the city life and style editor for the Michigan Chronicle, Ms. A.J. Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Look at their outfits. They I know, they look amazing. Fabulous. Listen. Look at you guys. I feel underdressed, Big Randy. It's, it's, it's Oscars Day. Yeah. I mean, what up, though, in 313 Day? 100%. But it's also <laughs> Oscars Day. We, we walk out the door like this every morning. I mean, yeah, we do. <laughs> we woke up like this. We woke up like this. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so let's start with some of your best dress picks. And you both think that Angela ba Bassett won the night for style. Well, look at her. We were like so <laughs> enthused about <laughs> this. It's, it's mm. right, AJ. I Listen, mean, the it's, color. The color is uh, cinched. She is cinched in all the right places. I mean, 60 what, where? Where? <laughs> look at those guns, though. Look at her arms. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, typ I typically don't like big okay. oversized okay. scale. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of obnoxious. But this was executed so well. This was Jeremy Scott for Moschino. And she didn't lose her curves. She right. didn't lose, you yes, know, her figure, yes, her, yes. her, she was statuesque. And that's really hard to pull off with that kind of volume. I love what you mm. said. She looked like she was moving. The, mm. Like she was just walking through. <laughs> it, standing still, it looked like there was a breeze that yes. was. Yes, like a, a, like a fan was following her and yep. had it at the perfect just spot. Perfect. <laughs> She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Listen, yeah. Angela did that. She did. Hey. The purple, the hair, just everything. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, know I love her. All right. Her face, too. Everything. Uh, I want to know what's going on. All of that, Everything. So next up, John, you really like J Janelle Monet's outfit. She's I, just stunning also. She is. I mean, I, I, her, I thought she was really the <laughs> best dressed uh, of, the, of the, you know, evening. Um, and what was interesting about her, her outfit, her dress, was that it was a very structured bodice, and it was combined with a, you know, asymmetrical, uh, draped, soft, orange, uh, like tangerine, um, skirt mm. and so it was this combination of structure with soft fabric and a lot of times those sort of conflict. They don't, they don't mm. mix. I definitely, I, I, I totally agree with you on this one. This was a late ad for me, but I also agree with John in the context of also with dresses. We talked about this with Angela. Yeah. You have to play up to your figure yes. mm -hmm. and she has a perfect kind of Structure figure yes. for this particular type of outfit. She killed it. It she was did. Really kilt, beautiful. not K I L L. Kilt. Kilt with she a kilt. <laughs> right now, AJ, you loved. I uh, love. Lady First Gaga of all, I'm just obsessed wow. with Lady Gaga, and that. I mean, this perspective with her. This is um, she's in Versace, mm. and her it gives her this whole regalness. Oscar appropriate, but still her. I love being able to still own your sassiness or own whatever your personality is. And I feel like that bodice part of her gives her kind of the Lady Gaga, and then the bottom part is kind of like, mm. this is very Lady Gaga Oscar. It was just... elegant and edgy. Yes. yes, and that's hard to pull off, and I loved yeah. it. Okay. I loved it. It's me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was looking at her eyeshadow like John has to teach me how to do that so yeah. I can meet you at my eyes oh, like that. Okay. Uh, I can do that. So switching gears to the worst dress, let's get through these quickly because uh -oh. you're just about out of time. Yeah, yeah. There are two celebrities that you both agree that completely missed the mark. Uh, we'll start with Dwayne uh, the Rock Johnson. You don't like this, Big Randy. I don't like that jacket at all. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what his idea. What he was thinking of now. I love the Rock. I love him as a personality, but his complexion got completely washed out. I get what he was going for. I know it's the style, okay. but no. Pumped up, 
pumped <laughs> up in peach for the prom. Oh! Ooh, all right, let's get say. to this other one. The other one that you both think needed a war drove oh, change was Florence <laughs> you. What do you. What is happening here? That and that was the point. That's okay. exactly yeah. what it. That right. you said it. You said it, Tati. What is happening here? <laughs> well, so she obviously uh, canceled the limousine because she decided she was going to parachute to the oh. ceremony. Oh, 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 uh, you know, yeah. done in purple. Yeah, but, but not there. That's yeah. okay. The parachute. The parachute. The parachute. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you both. Thank you. Oh, no, so no peach silky blazer. No, no peach silky blazer. No way. We're gonna skip uh -uh. that. Just, right. That's not Just gonna happen. <laughs>